is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a brand new book box battle for you, but it's going to be a little different because it's the same box, but it's not. I am going to be battling two boxes from Unplugged Book Box. So I have their YA subscription box and their adult subscription box, and I'm gonna battle them against each other. So this will be the first time I have ever battled a subscription box against itself. But without further ado, I'm gonna battle these boxes. So if you are interested, keep watching, and let's get into it. Let's do a sneak peek. Ooh, okay. So this is Unplugged Book Box, Know Your Limits, March 2020, Young Adult. So this is the young adult one. And spoilers on the back, we will save that for last. Right on top, we have like a sleep mask with like beads in there. I adore the galaxy design on that. That is so pretty. I'm not quite sure, is this like, let me check the spoiler card. Hold on. The sky's the limit. Eye pillow. One thing we all need to do is get more sleep and fend off headaches when they come. The sky's the limit with the with this beautiful eye pillow designed and made by Lacey J Boutique. Oh, so maybe it's like weighted with these beads to kind of help put pressure on your eyes for headaches. That is really cool because I do get headaches sometimes with my lovely little toddlers running around. So I actually really like this. That is really cool. Next we have, ooh, a little package here with a star. Let us see. Unplugged book box. Ellis Forest Herbs Maps and Figs by Gems and Jewels. Ocean Floor Ounce. Ellis from the Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd. Okay, let's give it a smell. Ooh, it smells good. You can never have too many lotions. I do like the smell and it feels good on the hands. I have not read the Bone Houses yet. I have it, I just have not got to it yet. Is it as good as everybody is saying? If you've read it, let me know. Um, so yeah, very cool. Again, you can never have too many lotions. Next, we have a candle. Geeky Girl Scent Unplugged Book Box Exclusive. Neil Johnston Leather Spices and Toasted Oak 4 Ounce Soy Pear Para Blend Candle. Ooh, it's orange and sparkly. Oh, I love a good sparkly candle. Oh my God. It smells so good. Ooh, I think it's the Leather and Toasted Oak. Oh, this is a good smelling candle. We do get a lot of candles in subscription boxes. We really do, but it does smell very good. Next, we have a little pouch. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, it's a shower steamer. I have never gotten a shower steamer before with all of my subscription boxes how have I never gotten one before I do not know but I finally have one it says this is officially is that French that looks like French Bella that's French um I don't know uh <laughs> unplugged book box exclusive by natural pure honest shower steamer can't really smell it through the plastic, but yay, I'm so excited to finally get a shower steamer. Next we have a tote. Oh, that's pretty. Fear is a phoenix. You can watch it burn a thousand times and still it will return. Lay Bardugo. Ooh, is this uh, Six of Crows? I think that's Six of Crows. Hold on. Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. Each of the main six characters test their limits in the conclusion. Yes, 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 yes. Artwork was designed by Azure Arts. Yes, love her. That is so pretty. I do kind of wish this would have been like the whole tote bag instead of just like a little bit of the center. But yeah, I still really like this. Such a good quote. And again, you can never have too many tote bags. Next, it looks like we have a bookmark. 
It's not the world that's cruel, it's the people in it. Isn't that the truth? And then we have the Spotify list. Another very cool thing about Unplugged Book Box. They always include a Spotify list of songs that they think kind of go along with the book of the month. And on the back is the photo challenge for the month. And then they have a little card in here just talking about burnout, what it is, symptoms, um, and what we can do to recover and avoid it. And on the back, it was just talking about the process of getting the new boxes. So yes, very cool. And yay, we are finally to the book. Ooh, The Midnight Lie. I like the cover with the snakes. Very intriguing. Um, I don't know if it's signed or, oh, it does have a signed book plate. Let's see what it looks like without. It does have a little indent. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like a vase with um, snakes on there and a rose. Again, I don't know if you can see that. And then silver on the spine. I am going to read the description real fast. Where Niram lives, crime abounds. A harsh tribunal rules and society pleasures are reserved for the high Keith. Life in the ward is grim and punishing. People of her low status are forbidden from sampling sweets or wearing colors. You either follow the rules or pay a tithe and suffer the consequences. Niram keeps her head down and a dangerous secret close to her chest. But then she encounters Sid, a rakish traveler from far away who whispers rumors that the High Keith possesses magic. Sid tempts Niram to seek that magic for herself. But to do that, Niram must surrender her old life. She must place her trust in this sly stranger who asks above all not to be trusted. Set in the world of the New York Times best-selling winner trilogy, this epic LGBTQ romantic fantasy is about learning to free ourselves from the lies others tell us and the lies we tell ourselves. Okay, that sounds very intriguing. A little bit of mystery, romance, hmm, adventure. Sounds pretty good. But guys, that was it. That was everything in the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down for me, the eye pillow and the shower seamer were my favorite items. I didn't really have a least favorite. Um, I liked the candle and the lotion and bookmark. Uh, so yeah, overall I thought this was a good box. But we still have a whole nother box to open. This one's heavy. Sneak peek. Ooh. Okay, and this is Adult Fiction, March 2020, Potential Unplugged Book Box. Okay, so I'm going to have to go for this big old item right here. And it says, read like Rory, drink coffee like Lorelei, ease quiet and coffee, dragonfly in, stars hollow Connecticut. Um, Gilmore Girls mug. If the Gilmore Girls are known for anything, it's their love of coffee. Okay, guys. I have something I have to tell you. And it is not easy. And it's something I've been ashamed of my entire life. I have never seen one episode of Gilmore Girls. I know. I know, I know. Don't hate me, okay, okay? It's on Netflix, I'll watch it. I will, I promise, I will watch it, okay? But I love coffee, so I'm halfway there, okay? I'm halfway there, look, I promise. Look, coffee, right here, coffee. Look at my kids, aren't they cute? <laughs> I'm drinking it. I love coffee, so I'm already a fan of Gilmore Girls. But yeah, no, I do love coffee mugs, so this is really cute. I like the black with the blue. I don't have many tall coffee cups, so I do like this design. So yeah, maybe after I watch Gilmore Girls, I will love this even more. So yeah, I love when we get coffee mugs. Great start to the box. Next we have, ooh, it's a Lord of the Rings item, and it's coffee. Of course, it is the Shire Unplugged Book Box Organic Coffee for Hobbits. That is so freaking cute. 
let me open it and give it a smell because there's nothing better in the world than smelling coffee. Ah. Uh, I am loving this box so far. I cannot wait to try this. Next we have some, what is this? Magic Cloves Orange by Get Splashed. Shower jelly. Shower jelly. Is that like? This is from V.E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic. Holy rabies, guys. If you have not read A Darker Shade of Magic, you have to read it. Such a good series. So it's shower jelly. Oh my god, I've never gotten shower jelly in a subscription box before. What? It really is just like jelly. Ooh. Oh my god. That is so cool. Red London. Oh my god, why did that not click right away? I cannot wait to try this either. Ooh, next we have some bubble wrap. Ooh. Creepy. Cozy Light Candle Co. The Bone. The Eating House and Honey Buns. Four ounce candle. 100% soy. Unplugged book box. So just a white candle. Cinnamon and vanilla. Definitely cinnamony. Cinnamony? Cinnamony? Yes. That is what I meant to say. I'm sticking by it. But yes, it smells very good. The cover though, whoo. What's the bone candle? Marrow by Taryn Fisher. I have not read that. I don't know if I want to. Arr. Next we have a bookmark. Kind of looks like postcard, like when you're traveling, so very cute. Then we have the Spotify list with all of these songs selected. Very cool. And on the back is the photo challenge. Oh, and we have a, another lotion, and it's based off the Witcher. It's Gerald of Rivia. Toss a coin to your Witcher. <sighs> so I had the flu, which led to a double ear infection at like the end of January. And I watched the entire Witcher season in like a day. Okay, fine. It was like a few days, but that show is so freaking good. Oh my God, he is so hot, like. But I digress, uh, let's give this lotion a smell. Ooh, I have to say, this does smell a little bit better than the other one. This is Gooseberry, Whetstone, and Forced. Forced, so good. But we are finally to the book. Let's see what we got. Ooh. The Borgia Confessions, I probably said that wrong, by Alyssi, Alyssa Palobo, probably said that wrong. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and read the description real fast. Rome, 1492, Rodrigo Borgio has ascended to the Papasi whatever that word is, as Pope Alexander, he is in a position to serve himself and establish his dynasty by using not only those desperate to curry his holy favor, but his very children. Zare Borgia is the Pope's eldest son. He believed his destiny was to command grand armies. Instead, he must wear the religious robes of the Catholic church at his father's command. Cesare's resentment never fully fades, even as he learns how to wield a different kind of power at the Pope's side. Holy rabies. Um, oh. Maddalena Morietti is a servant in the Vatican who finds her faith tested in the presence of the handsome Cardinal Cesare Borgias. Uh, she discovers that men of the cloth forsake their vows to satiate their lustful passions. God, I swear I went to college, guys. I swear. Their lustful passions as much as any man, and she gives into her own temptations by becoming Césaire's lover. But the house of Borgier is under to siege. European monarchs, Italian royalty, and religious zealots threaten their authority while jealousies and betrayals arise within the family ranks. Privy to the Borgier's sinful secrets, 
Medellinas must decide whether to become a pawn in the power games of the man she loves or to save her own soul. And if Cesare is going to become the master of his own fate, he will have to sacrifice the truest, purest love he's ever known. I normally read like YA fantasy, sci-fi, you know, romance. So I honestly don't read many books like this. But you know what? This actually sounds very intriguing. It's kind of giving me um, Downtown Abbey vibes, which I really liked that show. But yeah, if any of you guys have read this, um, just let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. But yeah, that was the adult box. As always, you guys, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. What was your favorite item, least favorite? Um, so yeah, I really liked this box. Um, favorite items. I really liked the coffee cup. I liked the coffee. Again, it's coffee and it's Lord of the Rings. You guys know I adore all things Lord of the Rings. I really liked the shower jelly. I just want to play with it. And it smells amazing and it's darker shade of magic. I really enjoyed the lotion. It smells amazing. It's the Witcher. Ugh, candle smelled amazing. It was just a really good box. But it is not a book box battle without a winner. So which box is the winner? Is it the YA box or is it the adult box? I thought both of these boxes were really good and I didn't not like anything in these boxes. Like there wasn't an item I just didn't like. But I will say I did like one box a little bit more. It was the unplugged adult box. So yes, the March 2020 unplugged adult box won this battle. I just really adored all of the items and even the book. I'm very intrigued to see um, if I will enjoy this type of book. Both of these boxes were absolutely amazing. And one thing I realized um, while I was unboxing these is everything in these boxes is usable and I really think unplugged book box stands out a lot from different book box subscriptions and another great thing about unplugged book box is they really promote self-care taking time for yourself kind of just unplugging from the world and just taking time for yourself which is always important to do and something we always tend to forget to do and I was very impressed with these boxes but unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to get these two boxes every single month I wish I could because I really enjoyed this. This was very fun battling these out and I really liked these boxes and their products. I will definitely keep an eye out on Unplugged Book Box Instagram and the themes they're doing on their boxes. But yes, this will definitely not be the last time you see Unplugged Book Box on my channel. As always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, Hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Let's go. Okay, I have to stop. That's fine. <laughs> Mm, that they wrapped really good. Ugh. My God, what what is but If I can read the words, that's that's the question. Drum roll, please. That was a little annoying. I promise I will never do it again. Oh my back. I'm getting old, y'all.